Welcome back to another episode of The Final Approach. So I did say at the end of last episode, we were gonna go and rescue someone from the surface of Minmus. I have decided instead, we're gonna go get some science because uh, we wanna keep adding science and uh, there's one place I have not got science from. So on the pad, and I'm just gonna get this going now. On the pad, oh, we have that again. Mm. On the pad, we have a parsnip three. So this is basically parsnip uh, one with the parsnip two, only two engines. Uh, we've kept the science, we've added on a, a, a uh, science uh, materials bear thing and a, um, a magneto boom. And uh, this thing is gonna go up into orbit and we're gonna get some science. But you may be thinking to yourself, why are you sending a big craft like this to orbit? It's, you know, it's, it's a bit too much you would be correct. So we've got on board, we've got uh, T-Top and we've got Theoli Kerman because obviously he needs to go and see his capsule again. No, no, that's not what we're doing after the last episode. Um, what we're actually gonna do is, let me just put this on like that. Um, we're gonna be sending this up and I'm gonna just junk it out of Kerbal's sphere of influence. I wanna get some uh, Kerbal science. So we're gonna send it out to Kerbal to get some Kerbal science. Um, and we're going to send a scientist up there so we can reset the equipment and collect it and get all the juicy goodness that we can from that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so of course, first of all, we're going to get it into orbit. Now I'm assuming there should be enough Delta V to do a sort of a curveball transfer and then back again. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it into orbit quickly. I don't really care. Well, actually, I do care where we're going. We're not actually going equatorial and I would really like it to go equatorial because it makes life easier. So there we go get rid of that oh that's going to be annoying we need to fix that so that's a, a little glitchy glitch with the staging i think i fixed it on the original parsnip and i've now got it back on this one brilliant so what we're going to do is we're just going to burn uh progress it's going to bro burn progress like this until we basically uh get out of uh, out of orbit and it, this is the easiest way to do it it's going to burn progress and in the end we will actually bump up our orbit out here and then then I have to get clever and start burning back towards the planet, basically, is what I need to do. So, um, yeah, that's going to be fun. We have to play around a bit with it. Oh, we've gone really far out there, haven't we? Anyway, so, so there we go. And this should probably take a big chunk of our Delta V. So we're just going to do that. We're also, in this episode, going to bring back Mango 1B because it's been in orbit now for, I don't know how long, days and days. And we should actually bring him back, you know, after the Jeb situation project jeb failure whatever you want to call it I'd, i'm still upset about it i'm going to be honest with you um yeah i think uh, we need to we need to look into that and uh, bring, bring bring the team back together because he's been up there on his own no what's that unknown object class b small oh i i can't view now i'm in the middle of doing stuff but uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll track that is that going to hit kerbin oh now the question is last seen three days ago oh okay so I, I basically I'm seeing stuff occasionally right uh, can I try can I stage can I can I just uh, reset the experiment right anyway I'll just do that and so now we're flying out with a bit of gusto you can see that we're, we're going up and up and up and up and as soon as we get reasonably close I just want to pop out of the sphere of influence there we go so I'm gonna put a maneuver, I'm gonna put a maneuver there. Right, just so that I know. Right, so we're now, we're flying around. Uh, first of all, well, do I need to worry about staging? Let's, uh, let's do some science. So we'll do, observe mystery goo. Can I get anything? No, I can't, but can we do anything for this? Conduct that survey. I can, that's good. We're gonna extend you, wonderful. And I'd like to now do the science. Can I do the science? So run that. We're gonna keep the experiment. And we're gonna get you out. We're gonna get, why is EVA unavailable? Why is EVA unavailable? Oh, that is why Jeb died. You can't EVA when physical time warp is on. Aha, so that has been confirmed to me. Anybody that posted down below, I have not read the comments for that episode yet. I'm actually recording a little bit ahead because things and stuff in real life. So 
Right, Jeb. So that mm, Jeb, it was your own fault. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, Jeb. It wasn't me. That's what it meant. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Download data. Um, can we just walk down a bit? Right. Collect data. And restore that. All right. We're gonna store experiments. Can we do an EVA? Does that get me anything new? No. Right. Board. Right. Next, we're gonna go to to about here. Up to there. Do, 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 do. Now I've got a pilot on board. I could have done this with just one crew member in a smaller capsule in reality, but um, if I've got a pilot, I don't need to really worry about things and stuff. So, you know, stuff, easy. This is gonna be days, days and days and days. I could actually set the, um, I could have set the, the, the alarm clock for this in fact, and re-entered that, which I think we will do actually. Shall we, shall we do that? Yeah, let's try using the alarm clock. Right, no, let's not. Let's not try using the alarm clock because, you know, yeah. this does not require the alarm clock just yet, does it? Right, so let's do, um, let's see, uh, two, one, all of the sciences. Can this, can this be? That's not tar action grouped. Okay, do that. Can I get these? Can these do high? We'll have one of those. Can I have one of those. Uh, reset, reset, reset. What about a crew report? Do I have a crew report from here? Nope, I have one already. Right, off we go. Going on our little journey to collect the sciences. So I'll have that one. Hello, there we go. Collect data, restore. Collect data, restore. Download data. Okay, then we're going to store the experiments. We're going to board. What can't I put in? Oh, I've already got one stored. You can only store. Mm, that's annoying. Board anywhere. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what data we've actually got and what we haven't now. Right. So I'm going to uh, warp to there. That's five days. It's a long time to get so far away, isn't it? You just just on the brink. Just on the brink. Right. And then just before we leave, I actually want to slow it down. I want to target, um, uh, says Tyler. I want to target that because I want to actually burn just towards the planet again when I come back out. So where are we? 25 minutes, let's warp here. So the second we do this, I want to um, basically turn around and fire back at the moon. That's gonna be the plan. Not the most efficient of uh, approaches. Um, or I could actually go pro, pro grid because I think I'm going retrograde at the moment in this orientation. I should have really planned this better. Uh, there, there is better ways of doing this, obviously. Uh, warp there, get closer. And we're just moving in closer. And I just want to get right on to that point where I cease to be cease to be in Kerbal Sphere Influence. I want to balance it on the edge. Just stick my nose out and there we go. Okay. Right. There we are. We are out. So now we're on the times frame. So we're going to do conduct study, observe. Good, good. Right. Uh, run. We're going to fire these things off, which is uh, keep that data. Keep that data. Right. Keep the data. Right. We want a crew report. Keep that one. Right. Now we're going to do EVA. You are going to grab an EVA report. Yes, you are. You're going to walk down here just a little bit. We're going to grab some science. So you're going to download that. You're going to collect that. You're going to collect that. And you're going to store experiment. There we go. Then you're going to board. Right. Then you are going to EVA because I just want you to have EVA'd and then you're going to board again. Right. Now, next thing. Oh dear, we've lost the maneuver node. Uh, right. Uh, I want to just uh, aim, aim at the target. Aim at the target. Is that target? Which one's the target? Is the target the circle? I think that's the target. I think that's the target. Well, let's find out. Am I pointing towards Kerbin? Yes, I am. So, here we go. There we go. 
I'm doing something. I just don't know what. Um, right. I think... I think we are now going to burn a retrograde. Oh, that's a Kerbin encounter. Right. So, warp to there. So there's going to be a Kerbin encounter. That's key. Right. I'm on my Kerbin encounter now, am I? Where is my Kerbin? Right. That's my Kerbin encounter, I think. I cannot tell. Kerbin encounter, 15 seconds. This has changed a little bit, hasn't it? Right. There we go. Okie doke. Uh, let's go to, first of all, I don't want to, I want to unset that. Right, let's go to, to here. That's 55 days. What's this one? 25. What? What? Y you know what? That's not impressive. Keep going. Go closer. Make me closer. Make me closer. Right, when we get towards Minmus, then I think we'll slow down a bit. So it's doing that thing where if I actually time up to here, is it going to sort itself out? Yeah. If I had a time up before, it would have actually taken me around the planet before it actually, uh, before it let me do anything. That's 12 days. See, there we go. And now is it picking up that line there? That maybe it is, maybe it is. So what's that one? That's 16. So let's just go to here. 12 days. It's a long journey time, isn't it? It's a long journey out of the Kerbin system. But we've got all that beautiful science on board. I'm not entirely sure how much it is now. What we got? Uh, gravitational influence of Minmus. Da, 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 all these things. Rescued. Rescued. Nothing. Nothing for. Nothing for going out of uh, out of Kerbin's sphere influence. That's interesting. And there we go. You know what? We're gonna we're going to come to about here. How much Delta V have I got? Oh dear, this is going to be... Uh, we're going to get closer, but my periaps is too low right now. So I need to um, radial out. Radial out. I want to I want to, I want to slip the... Uh, no, I want to go to orbit. Radial out. Where's radial out? Is that radial in or radial out? I think that's radial out. Nope, that's radial in. That's radial in. Must learn. Must learn symbols. Learn symbols better. Sea monsters learn, but, oh, because they're both round. That's what's throwing me. Okay. All right. Radial out. You see, what I'm actually doing is I'm just trying to bring this up. I'm trying to redistribute my speed a bit um, so that I can actually hit the atmosphere. And, uh, ooh, I want to go back the other way now. So let's have a look. There we go. Back to radial in, and then we just want to bring this in to about there. We go. So this is interplanetary return. So I need to be careful. It's not a fast interplanetary return. It's just it's just uh, it's, it's it is an interplanetary return of sorts, though. So we need to be careful about that. Right here we go. Coming in. Mm -hmm. Probably need to be a retrograde for this. And uh, we've got all the science, I believe. The team is looking happy. So this is just a cheeky little way of getting some science, actually. Um, we, we could have done it on the way to another planet. Um, I'm planning on doing a planetary mission at some point. I think we'll probably go with Juna, because Juna, I think, is the easier one to get to. It's only a little bit of Delta V more than the Moon or Minmus. Um, so we'll look at uh, the next sort of maneuver time that that can happen. The good thing is because we don't have life support, I don't need to, to really worry too much about things like how long do I leave crew in orbit? And we've got big engines now. I would really like the nuclear engines before we go into planetary, but being stock Kerbal, there is limited fuel tanks for them. So there is a, you know, there's, there's a reason to just go with standard fuel um, because you can build some interesting sort of nice shaped craft. So we'll see. So we're coming in. Look at the mountain ranges there. I don't know where. Oh, hello. This looks familiar. Right. Um, we're not going to have enough uh, Delta V to stop this thing, but uh, what we can do is just slow down a bit, help ourselves a little bit on this return. Because this is. Uh, oh, what is hot? What is hot? That is hot. Okay. We're getting a lot of heat. Okie dokie. At some point, we're going to decouple that engine as soon as possible. 
and we're coming over that so i do love this i do i wish there was something here because this would be just cool what's about to explode we're about to lose something and it's going to be the materials bit i think it's going to go there we go there we go that's what i expected now that's going to explode there we go so we're coming in now from interplanetary space and uh, we've taken as much speed out of this as we probably could um, it's going to be interesting. We, you know, we, we're going to dip down quite a bit. We, our periaps is low, so we are going to slow down. It's just a matter of you know how long it takes. Um, I've not fired the parachutes off yet because uh, I'm just concerned that we're going to carry a lot of speed into our return. And this is one of the points where actually space planes and reusability just doesn't quite make as much sense because the extra sort of energy you've got here. Space planes are just difficult. Look at uh, T Top. T Top is loving this. Actually, so is uh, Theoli. Theoli. Um, is that how you say your name? Theoli. Are you Theoli. Theoli. That's uh, you're looking. At, you're looking. You're both looking very happy. I mean, you you are landmark Kerbals. And interesting, we haven't got a, a reward for this, but uh, we have done it. We have gone into, you know, Kerbal sphere of influence. We're going to land on the side of a mountain, aren't we? You are kidding me. Seriously? Seriously, on the side of a mountain? brilliant this thing's going to roll and they're both going to die and it's going to be horrible i can see it already i can just see it oh we're going to land on the top of a mountain and we're never going to be able to rescue them never going to be able to rescue them from that yeah there we go slowing down we're going to be potentially no i think we're going to miss the mountain are we potentially going to miss the mountain land in the middle of nowhere well i can speed this up now we've gone we've gone as much as i want oh we're going to go into a valley we're going to go into a oh no it's a cliff it's actually a cliff seriously parachutes out we're going into a cliff brilliant oh this is this is horrible this is absolutely horrendous i've never been here before in my life this is disgusting oh my lord what's that is that a tree can i see a tree is that a tree there what's that there hmm. there's lots of little things everywhere little spots of things what are you probably trees hmm I'm coming right down on top of one of them, actually. That'd be quite interesting to see what that is when we get down. Right, let's speed this up. What are you? Hmm? What are you? Do I need to investigate? That'd be quite funny, actually, if it was something a scientist would be useful for. Um, right. Coming down. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we're going to go right down. Are we going to be in the middle of something? I think we're going to be in the middle. So what is these things? Just rocks? They're just rocks, are they? Okay right we're coming down a bit fast actually i forgot this uh, this capsule does carry a bit of speed oh jeez. oh how high are we actually up right because we're four mile four kilometers up that's why you're carrying a bit of speed right let's collect that all the science all the science now next time we will actually have to send up a um some sort of uh, science station and we'll do some science research you know in orbit of, of, of Kerbin or something. I, I'm not, I need to look up on how that works. So 400 science. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We got lots of stuff. Brilliant. We got something back and T-Top has now moved up to level two. Superb. So let's actually spend that science straight away because what do I want? I want, oh, I could get nuclear. I could get nuclear. I could get actuators. Mm -hmm. Or we could get stabilization landing unmanned tech doesn't really excite me uh what does this give me when's my next when's my next science thing all right what's that that's computer that's xenon ah right this looks interesting because i get scanning arms atmospherics scanners surface scanners and that thing i like that you know what we're gonna do that because then we can start looking for horrible asteroid things and then can i get anything you know what we're just gonna mm, let's get the av no i'm holding off on the aviation we're, not, we're holding off on that for a purpose because i want to do something with it right so have we got any new missions because of that we've got these things uh rescue curve surface orbit of the sun seriously oh you give me a lot though hmm that is interesting that is interesting Stranded in orbit of the sun. Woke up one morning, decide to walk out of the capsule. Now we have we need we need your help. Ooh, that would 
Serbal, Serbal, that is interesting. How long is it valid for? Ooh. I would like some comments. Should I take that mission? It's gonna, it's gonna actually run out before I get your comments actually, but if we get another one of these, if I don't take this one, should I take this mission? Should I send a mission to rescue someone from Round of the Sun or Round Kerbal? It should be the Kerbal, Kerbal. Um, that's an interesting one. All right. Um, let's go return. It's going to be a mission of returns. We're going to bring uh, Mango 2 back down because Mango 2 has been in orbit for quite a while now. Um, we can actually check on the orbit timer. It has been in orbit 80 days. Yeah, Bill, you've, you've been in orbit for 80 days, man. I mean, yeah, if you've done an EVA at least, you get some, something for that. Right. Um, how much fuel you got? Not much. Right. Um, let's bring you to here and then we'll do re-entry. Uh, yeah, no, let's bring you to here and then do re-entry. Yeah, do that. Um, and of course you do not have any sort of control. So me me actually returning you is going to be annoying. I do not have any SAS control on you whatsoever. So once you are set off, you is coming down right where you supposed to be. So uh, yeah, let's do that. So no SAS, right. Um, Uh, I want to point you semi-retrograde and just bring you down out of orbit is what I'm looking for. There we go. Oh, I hate this. You've got no atmosphere to slow you down or anything. So you just sort of migrate. And that'll do. There we go. Wonderful. Right, let's uh, let's warp you down. So, Team Bill Bill. How are we doing? I could have time warped when I was actually on the on the retrograde there. That would have been probably the clever thing to do actually, to bring the time warp into play on that. But we didn't. We didn't do that. Right. Um, I think what we'll do is we're just going to decouple and uh, arm all the parachutes. In fact, this thing is heavy on parachutes, isn't it? If I remember rightly, and that's when risky, and those were when safe. Uh, I'm going to put you to uh, remove from symmetry and then put that one risky as well. So there we go. Off you go. You can just flop on down. You're obviously in the atmosphere, so you're already orientating yourself nicely. Thank you to uh, the um, <clears throat> to the heat shield on the bottom there. Poor, poor Bill, you have been in orbit for forever. Like, like that's I don't know how long a Kerbin year is. I think it, it, they have. Is it six hours or four hours a day? And I think it's about four four hundred days in orbit per orbit. So you've not gone a full year, but you've been up there a while. You know, you've been you've been up there since Jeb was still around, which is you know you were the, you were actually the last person to see him. Everybody's waiting to hear back from you and what were his last words. We, we're guessing his last words were, "Why can't I carry? Out, why can't I jump out of this capsule? What's going on, Bill? I hate you." But um, you know. I think I do blame you actually, Bill. I think you locked the door. I think you were always jealous of Jeb. I think you were always jealous of Jeb. And um, you just, you, you decided that you were gonna be the man for once. And, and that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, look at you. You do look a little crazy. Look at you, look at your eyes, look at them. Mm, crazy eyes. Right, so anyway, here we're coming over the Cob Kerbal continent as it were. Um, this might be a mountain landing again, actually looking at it. Um, I can never really judge. No, I think we're. This might actually be a pretty nice landing, considering everything that's going on. Um, I think we were going to overshoot, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Oh, actually, you know what? We might not overshoot much at all. This is going to be a lot less overshooty than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's really not bad at all. Uh, we we're going to be. I think we're probably going to be in the water just off the coast. Um, wow, that's uh, that's amazing. That is actually going to be. Mm. Can I just? Uh, can I just? Uh, dip... Yeah, I think you're going to be just off the coast. You're going to be in the shallows, uh, which is unbelievable. I wasn't even planning on that return trajectory, but okay. Uh, note to self: uh, don't don't try and get close to KSC because you seem to do better when you don't. That's interesting. So this will be the first time in. I think it's like. 
I want to say seven or eight episodes that we've got all of our crew back down on Kerbin and we need to start thinking about future missions. So I think we have a rescue mission we need to do. We have, I want to go to Duna or someone like somewhere like that. So Eve or Duna orbit. Um, Duna landing is a possibility, uh, but if nothing else, orbit of both. And then we can just have a look at them. Um, I don't really want to send probes anywhere. Um, it would be interesting to, but I want to send Kerbals. I think Stock Kerbal is all about the, the crew, the crew doing stuff. So I think that's what we're going to aim to do. So I think our next aim is going to, going to have three missions. Um, and I'm not sure which orbit order they're going to come in. We're going to have that rescue mission from Minimus. We've got mission to Duna, mission to Eve. We also have a contract outstanding at the moment, which is to put a base on the moon. And we've also got those missions to collect um, rocks and things like that from the moon and from Minmus. So we need to think about that. We need to think about uh, rovers. Uh, we need to think about some controlled flying of some sort. Um, and we also need to think about interstellar, or not interstellar, interplanetary stuff. So those are some things we need to do. So that's probably the next 10 episodes sort of taken up with those sort of sets of missions. I have never returned a crew from the surface of EVE. So I think returning crew from EVE will probably be a long-term goal for this uh, thing. In fact, you know what? Val onto EVE and home again, I think is going to be our mission. We're going to keep her alive long enough so we can get her down to Eve and then bring her home again. It doesn't matter how many other Kerbals, you don't listen to this, Bill. It doesn't matter how many other Kerbals die on the way, uh, uh, go missing on the way. I think that's going to be our mission. I think it's going to be Val to Eve and home again without dying. I think that's it. Right. And with that, let's collect this capsule. Rescue Bill, finally, who is the scientist. Bill is a scientist, I think. Yeah, I think he is. So Bill has finally been rescued. I'm never going to get Bill and Bob the right way around. He's finally rescued. We get a little bit of cash back. And he levels up to level one, so he's the same as other engineers. And we can just check in our astronaut complex. So everybody is good now, apart from Bob. Bob has done nothing. Bob, you suck. You suck, Bob. You are going to go into space and uh, we're going to put you on a lab or something. And we're going to do something with you. But your courage is terrible, and but you're not very stupid. So that's good. Right. So from me... Ooh... Tritza, you are courageous beyond belief. Let me just have a look. Is anybody else? And you are courageous. Adan, Adan is, oh, you are really quite courageous and stupid though. You're like Jeb, you're literally a Jeb. And Jersey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually hire you. I don't normally hire, but we only have two pilots. And I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna look and see what this one is he's an engineer right i need another pilot because we're going to have multiple missions so i need at least one more pilot so tritza you are my pilot of google for this one okay so you're going to be doing a mission probably uh to a space station or something like that we're going to get you broken in probably with with bob anyway from me until next time have a great one